The Centurions event will be coming to FC Mobile tomorrow, so today I'm going to go over how you could prepare for it and some potential new investments for the next week. So here is what I assume to be Team 1 of the Centurions event. We have some incredible players in there. We got Eri Militao, we have Jamie Vardy who might be pretty broken in the game, we got Neymar and of course Sergio Ramos. Now while I do think those four players are going to be pretty much the only new meta players from the group, there is a ton of stuff coming with the event that could change the market, could change people's teams and how things go moving forward. And one of those things is the Centurions chapter. We're going to get two crazy free to play players for playing the entire event. The first batch is going to be a decision between picking Zico and picking Van Nistelrooy. Now, I'm personally going to go with Zico. The card looks very good. I think he will be good, but these players will be free to play. You can play through the skill games and everything to earn the tokens required to unlock them. But the best thing about it is they're only going to be the first two to come out. Later on, we're also going to get Mekalele and Philip Lom. I'm definitely going for Lom. I think he could be a great right back in the game. But those are going to be two great players, or essentially you get a choice between four, but you're going to end up with two great players in the game. The other part of the event is going to be similar to what we had with the Winter Wild Cards, where essentially you have a dice roll board. Depending on what number you roll, you're going to move throughout the board, collect rewards, and the more times you go through, the better your rewards will get. Now with the Winter Wild Card event, this made a huge change in the market because it gave tons of coins to free to play and pay to win players. But this time, I don't think it's going to make as much of an impact because the rewards just aren't as good as they were before. But with that being said, it definitely will increase some of the coins in the markets, which I will talk about later and how that could change player prices. But as for the event section, that is pretty much it. Although it will have the normal quests, the normal daily challenge that we could do, the weekend challenge where you get the 88 plus rated player, and we're of course going to get some more exchanges. Now who knows if they're going to be the same kind of exchanges that we got here with the heroes event, but I do have a feeling it will be pretty similar. Now, as we saw, there is going to be an 88 to 97 overall exchange. I don't know exactly what they will require, but that might be an exchange that does fairly well. A lot of people complete it. And so because of that, the players required for it might actually go up a decent bit in value. But of course, we won't know exactly what that is until the event comes out tomorrow. But really, those aren't the exchanges that I'm really excited for. If we do get another 93 to 97 or a 96 to 97 exchange, or even some players like Tore or Lucio where you go through, you complete exchanges and complete the player or acquire the player, this event could be very good or could be really exciting. They may be releasing, let's say, a 94 overall Neymar. These are complete guesses, I don't know for sure, but if they release something like a 94 overall Neymar, a 93 Sergio Ramos, whatever that, might, that may be, the players required for those exchanges, like they would be here for Tore, I do think would go up in value and would serve as a decent investment later on. But that is all speculation. Here are some things that we could be doing before the event comes out in order to prepare for it. So if you have anybody in your team or any players that you're investing in or holding on to that you think could be replaced by these new players, something like this Neymar, he def he likely won't go down in value or go, go down in value much, but he will be of course replaced by his better version. So this is something to look out for. Maybe you offload him here. And if you want a higher rated Neymar, maybe you have to sell off a couple more players now in order to get ready to be able to buy him when he does come out on release day. Now, usually the players will be their cheapest either right when they come out or next Monday, Tuesday, when they're about to cycle out for a new team. So keep that in mind. You don't want to buy into the hype and into the high prices, but selling off players or investments you don't really need now in order to get ready for these new players might be a play for you. The other thing to keep in mind is save your pass points. We don't know yet if we're going to be able to use them to exchange for the Centurion points, but if you can, save as many as you can so that you could go around the dice spin track or whatever you want to call it as many times as possible to get as many rewards as possible. And of course, the final thing to do is to make sure to complete the exchanges that are here if you want to complete them to get the rewards because they will be gone when this part of the event ends and with the new event comes out. So that is essentially some things we could do to get ready for the event. Those are some key things that will be coming out with the new event. But let's now move on to what I think can be some new investments for the next week. And I define the next week as between now and and next Monday. So I'm going to tell you the investment that I think only has about a 24 hour time span left. And that is investing in the high rated meta players before the event comes out tomorrow. And the reason why is if the event comes out and people do get a huge influx of coins, whether it be through packs, whether it be through the event, the dice roll, whatever it may be, the prices in the market or the players 
the high rated players will definitely go up in value. We saw that really like that was a huge shock that we saw when the winter wildcard event happened. So if we have the similar thing happen now, you're going to want to get into some of these players ahead of time. So a player like Cristiano Ronaldo would likely go up in value. Someone like Vandersar might go up in value. Even some of the players from the current event, the Heroes event, like Marquez, who is actually a pretty good card and is relatively decent value, 100 million. But let's say a bunch of people get coins tomorrow and they want to go buy better players for their team. He could easily go up to maybe 120, maybe 130. This is all speculation. Invest at your own risk but that could be a possibility. Other great invest or other potential investments, Lucio, Janola, those kind of guys might go up in value. Even some of the icons that we saw like Henri, Mateus, Stoichkov, or Cole, those guys could go up if we do get a huge influx of coins, but that is a big if we won't know until tomorrow. So that's a potential investment you could make within the next 24 hours. The next investment I would look into that you can make all the way up until next Monday, in my opinion, is going to be UCL cards. Now, these cards were recently released into the game. I haven't talked about them because I haven't posted in a couple of weeks, but these guys will get plus one upgrades if their teams win and progress to the next stage of the UEFA Champions League. And so these guys become a potential investment because people are going to be buying them in the hopes that the team wins and then they're going to get a plus one upgrade. But there is a very specific way to invest in these players. You don't want to buy them and wait for the game to happen and hopefully have their team win and then sell after the game. You want to buy them now, like four or five days before, and then sell them right before the game happens because people will already be investing in them and their prices will already be high before the game even starts. So to water that down, if you bought the players now or tomorrow and then sold them next Monday before the games happen on Tuesday, that would be a decent or potentially decent investment. Now, of course, you're going to want to choose the players that play for the better team or the team that is more likely to win. But the only issue is that the matchups for this round are actually pretty difficult. For example, Man City is playing Real Madrid. It, that's pretty much a toss up. Either one could win, which is also why you don't want to be betting on the games. But this is a potential investment. Keep it in mind. We have so many things going on right now in the game that it's easy to forget about these guys. But make sure you keep them in the back of your mind. Put a couple on your watch list they may be a decent investment. Another great potential investment is going to be if we get a 96 to 97 exchange next week for the new Centurions event. If that happens, we could see here, it requires 95 overall heroes or team of the year players. So what they're likely going to do is have the current event players and the previous event players as requirements. So for the Centurions event, it might be a 95 overall Centurions players and a Heroes players. And if that's the case, then picking up some 95 overall players in the next maybe day or two might not be a bad idea. But keep in mind that the 95 overall Hero players have gone up quite a bit. They recently went up from 25 million all the way up to 40 because they're being used in the 96 to 97 overall exchange currently. So if you're going to invest in these guys, I'd wait a day or two for that to happen wait for packs to be open tomorrow at reset but these guys are a potential investment that you can capitalize on and of course that goes for all of the exchanges that we've been getting during these main events if you want to now keep in mind this is all a risk and a gamble because we don't know for sure that these exchanges will come out but if you want to invest in players for the 93 to 97 exchange for the 95 exchange or whatever it may be Keep in mind, it is a gamble, but that might be a potential investment opportunity moving forward. And with that, the final investment opportunity that I think you could make before next Monday, next Tuesday, let's say, is going to be with players that fit the new meta. Now, if you don't know, with the new event that's coming out tomorrow, there is going to be a gameplay update coming as well. Things like cross spamming will be nerfed, passing will be better, players will make better runs, so maybe positioning stats make more of an impact or passing stats make more of an impact or maybe you don't need to have really tall great at heading defenders maybe you could have smaller defenders because you don't have to worry about cross spamming as much these changes to the meta might also make changes to the market so keep that in mind so over the weekend try out new players see how the game feels and then on monday tuesday if you think some players are undervalued with the way the new meta plays that would be a great time to jump in pick up those players and hopefully see them go up in value. But with all that being said, I want to end off this video here by showing you an investment that I made recently. I hadn't invested for about a month or so because I just didn't have the coins. 
I had the best team possible or my best team possible. Didn't feel like changing it, but I ended up liquidating a player. Being able to purchase players, I picked up 95 overall player, heroes players rather, when the 95 overall exchange was out. They were down in price, as you can see, picked them all up for about 25 million. And as we saw earlier, they're currently all going for about 40 million. We go over here, Mascherano is at about 40 million. Francescoli is at 40 million. And of course, Donovan is at about 40 million. So I'm going to sell off all these players, take the profits and move them into new players that I think might go up in value over the next couple days. But with that being said, that is all for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy and I hope it did help you out. I'm sorry I haven't posted in a long time. I do plan on posting a little bit more over the next little while, but there's no guarantees. The next or one of the next videos I will be posting will be a head-to-head -head video showing how I hit FC Champion. You can see I'm just a couple games away. I've been going on a decent winning streak. Um, the team I'm using is pretty good, so it helps out. But this will likely be one of my next videos. If you're looking forward to it, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.